share it? How nervous were you before you entered that game show? I mean, I had a couple of judges just because I haven't played since February of last year. So it was just amazing just to get back out there, you know, start playing again. February of last year, a full year since your last organized game. Do you remember your last organized game? Uh, no, I just know it was a while ago. So <laughs> it was great to just be back out there playing. So when you were in the game, altitude hit you? Did you, did you feel it right away? Oh, definitely. It smacked me as soon as I walked in, like the first couple trips down. After I stayed in a while, you kind of got used to it. So you want to play a team game and all that, but how badly did you want to score? How badly did you want to get on the statue? Uh, I definitely want to score. You know, uh, this is obviously a memorable moment, my first NBA minutes. So to, uh, to get a bucket or get a, to score, you know, just put a stamp on it. That pass you had to Malik full court. I don't think a lot, a lot of people know that you could do stuff like that. What, what else can you do that people don't know about? Uh, I would say I'm just a versatile guy. You know, can guard multiple positions, um, pass, rebound, being able to dribble, initiate, facilitate. And finish, you know, that's what I try to start my game to be. Joe, what's been the most challenging <clears throat> part of getting drafted until this night? Um, I would say the rehab. You know, rehab is tough. You know, trying to stay locked in and stay consistent every day, which you, which you know, which you strive to be. And just also, like I said, the mental aspect, just trying to get over that hump um, with trusting your, your uh, trusting my feet again, and just being knowing that I'm physically able to do it. So. Just trying to get that mental aspect. Yeah, because Mason said uh, Mason said to Vic after the game, you're, he's in the league now. Uh, yeah. Does it does it feel a little bit more like that? Like you you fully when you when you actually play in the game that you're now you're really a part of this whole thing. Definitely, like to get minutes and like I said to score it. Like, I feel like that's to actually stamp that you you know to score NBA bucket. So like I said, it was a great moment for me. Is there anybody uh, on the teams you know you you really leaned on so far? I mean, Paul Mills, you guys had a lot of success playing the power forward position. You, are you picking his brain or anything like that? Um, a lot of guys. Um, I feel like this is a great team just as far as, like, uh, there's no egos. Everybody, you know, likes each other. We kind of communicate well. But, like, Paul, Will, IT, the vets, you know, they kind of talk to me, uh, you know, on and off the court and, you know, just how to be a pro and stuff like that. When you went up for that reverse layup, did you see the bench go crazy on the other side of the, of the court? Uh, I actually didn't. I seen, after the play, I kind of looked down there. I seen they was, you know, the support they were showing. So it was great to see that, too. How like valuable would it be for you to get some, some G League action? Just get some running, man. Play long minutes. Uh, super valuable because, I mean, tonight that was my first time playing 5-on-5 five five since February. So, uh, you know, just to get up down the court, mainly going down there to get in shape, get more rhythm. And um, I think it will just be beneficial for, my, for both me and the team. As far as the G League goes, is there, like, a plan of attack for you in terms of the way you hope to play, or are you just going to try to fit in and play basketball? I just try to fit in right now. Like, there's no expectations on me right now, you know, uh, especially coming back from injury. And, um, you know, just me being out there trying to play and get back in rhythm, trying to get in shape, you know, that's the main goals right now. Do you feel like you couldn't have landed in a more fortunate situation just in terms of how deep this team is and how you can sort of grow at your own rate? Absolutely. Um, I feel like this is a great situation. Like you said, it's a, it's a deep team. So they necessarily didn't need me right away. They allowed me to, you know, go through the rehab part without rushing me and get healthy. And um, also, I just feel like I fit the system of the team, you know, the way they play, the style of play. Um, I said it was just a great situation all the way around. You told us earlier in the week that the next step for you was trusting your foot. Uh -huh. How did you feel tonight in terms of that aspect? I felt good. I know before the game, I was like, you know, a little iffy. But after getting out there and, uh, like I said, just crossing that barrier, just once I was out there, I, you know, I felt fine. So it was great. I want to hand you your first NBA <laughs> statute. Sparky you. said you got a triple single. Triple single, baby. First of many. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Jerry. Congratulations. Congratulations.